hello guys and welcome back to my channel this is AG updates so guys in this video i'm going to show you how to perform the new tax on optra about encryption so this update is mainly for those of you participating in the optra testnet campaign to maximize your chance of getting some potential reward so everything you need to know about this new tax i'm going to tell you in this video and i'm going to guide you on how you can navigate around it so for those of you that don't know what optra is all about i made a video about it on how to get started so in that video you are going to know what optra is how you can create a wallet on optra and how you can make some transaction so what you just need to do now is to please watch that video to know how you can create a wallet on Optra. Once you are done, avoid the transaction part and visit this video again to see how you can encrypt your wallet and make some transaction. So everything, like I said, I'm going to tell you guys how you can navigate around it in this video. So I know a lot of you have been waiting for this video. Sorry, it's not easy making such video. So please make sure to support me by hitting on the subscription button or follow depending on where you are watching this video from so i created a new account on x please make sure to follow me and i promise to follow you back thank you so i'm going to tell you guys everything you need to know about this new tax and what to do so you can see on the screen this is the official x account of optra new testnet tags install the new client yeah i'm going to show you this Early build for advanced users, use a secure network and never share your keys. Encrypt your OCT balance, send and receive encrypted transaction. Then join their Discord for more updates. So all the necessary link, I'm going to drop it at the description of this video and in my comment section. So this step is asking you to protect or lock your OCT token using encryption. So you can see on the screen, encrypt your OCT balance. So why is it important? It's part of the Optra focus on privacy and security. Encrypted balance hide your phones from public views on the blockchain. So this is a good step for what Optra are building. You can see that this project is a nice project looking at the vision so no one can view or mess with your wallet balance except they have your key so please make sure to save your optra wallet key and it should be only you that know about the key the private key and the seed freeze very important guys so for you to get started this is what you need to do so like i said i'm dropping all the necessary link at the description of this video so what you all need to do is to visit this site so I'll be using GitHub Terminal to show you guys how to do it. That is the code space. But you can use Ubuntu. For those of you that have Ubuntu, you can use Ubuntu to navigate around this. So what you all need to do is to visit here. Now you click on code space. You yeah, click on code space. You're going to see a plus sign or you can create code space on main click here it's going to take it to a new page all right guys so it's going to open this terminal for you as you can see on the screen so what you all need to do first is to expand this so this is for those of you that are going to use github so make sure to expand this so bring your arrow here and try to expand it then now what you all need to do is to follow this guide like i said i'm going to drop all the necessary link at the description of this video so for step one you say go to this site and create a new code space now once code space is completely loaded use this command one by one press enter after each command so first you need to copy this command here so you need to copy this command okay copy this command and make sure to paste it here all right so allow now you click on enter all right so after clicking on enter just make sure to wait for it to load as you can see on the screen 
requirement already satisfied blah 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 you can see done now what you don't need to do is to visit here again and you copy this and now copy this command you should copy the command and paste it here so i'm going to drop this on x2 and I click on enter okay so after clicking on enter what you need to do is to reduce this okay now you click on this wallet here you can see it on the screen click here it's going to bring what you here. all need to do is to edit this private key to your private key that is the basis for private key so get your basis for private key on ultra and paste it here so just use your arrow key to navigate around this so use your mouse and use your arrow key to navigate around this to delete so delete your private key here then copy your basis for private key and paste it here so after pasting your basis for private key now what you all need to do is to also paste your address here all right so delete this and paste your wallet address that is your opta wallet address after pasting your private key and your opta wallet address what you just need to do now is to copy this command so i'm going to drop it at the description of this video you copy this and you take it here and you paste it yeah then you click on enter so what you need to do is to wait for it to process all right guys so let's increase this you can see on the screen all right guys so you're going to see something like this you can see send ts refresh multi-send encrypt balance decrypt balance private transfer claim transfer export key and zero for exit you can see there are different numbers here and you don't need to claim so you're going to see your address you're going to see your balance and and the rest so now for you to make any transaction here we are going to start with four which is encrypt balance so just click four All right so this error yours will be different so this error is from github or so so you are going to enter four so just click four you can see four here don't worry forget the setup then just click enter so if you click on enter it's going to bring you here so you can see encrypt balance blah 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 and the rest so i'm just going to use 100 100 then click on enter so now you click on y okay so click on y then you click on enter so you can see encryption submitted transaction blah 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 what you all need to do now is to just click on enter you can see on the screen all right guys so before going to the next step make sure to check if encryption was successful so you visit ultra scan now paste your address here now you click on search so wait for it to process it's going to bring you here so i think this is the recent transaction here yeah click on it So encryption balance, encrypt balance. So this was successful. So you can see on the screen it was successful. Now what you need to do is to visit your wallet again. That is the GitHub terminal. Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you guys how to decrypt. So please make sure to wait and confirm that the encryption was successful and has been confirmed in case the encryption is still pending and you move on to the next step you are going to face error so please make sure you see that it has been confirmed make sure you are not seeing anything like pending here again so now i'm going to show you guys how you can decrypt and for you to decrypt what you all need to do now is to click on five after clicking on five you click on enter so after clicking enter it's going to bring you here so I've already made some transactions from my 100 in order to test it. So now my balance is just 10. 
but yours is going to be 100. So what you just need to do is to put down the amount that you want to decrypt. Like I'm just going to use five. Now I'm going to click on enter. Now you click on Y. So for your first time, just make sure to try this. But if you have like 100, you can use 10 or so. Then you click on Y, decrypt five, then click on Y, then you click on enter. Then you're going to see decryption successful. So now what you need to do is to click on enter. After you click on enter, you're going to see pending transaction. So you'll wait for this to be successful. Visit the optra scan, paste your address. Yeah, make sure to paste your address, click on search. All right, guys, so you can see pending. Make sure this is successful first before you can move to the next step. Try to refresh the page. Okay, right, so looking on the screen, transaction successful. So now you visit your Optra wallet again. You can see stage pending. What you all need to do to refresh this, just click on two. So click two, then you click enter. Okay, guys, so you can see in five, blah, blah, blah. So now what you just need to do for the next step is to perform private transfer so for you to perform this private transfer you need to click on six i know this video is going to be too long because i'm just explaining this in a simple way so click on six now what you all need to do is to paste a recipient's address so for you to get address you can get from the official discord address group or you can use mine i'm going to drop it at the description of this video i'm also going to drop it at the comment section in my telegram group and on x also for those of you that want to perform transaction with me and please make sure to drop your own so that i can perform some transaction with you or you can visit optra scan so what you need to do is to copy any address of your choice yeah so let me just make transaction with this and make sure there is no space as you can see now you copy the address i'm going to drop mine at the description of this video to make it easier for you now what you need to do here is to click on ctrl v i paste then click on enter so you can see recipient balance blah 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 now what you need to do is to put down the amount that you want to send uh, let's send one Sorry, I have five. So there's five. Let's send one. Now click on enter. So you can see send blah 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 privately to this. Just click on Y and click on enter. So you can see private transfer submitted. Recipients can claim in next approach as you can see on the screen. So now what you need to do is to copy your address and confirm if the transaction was successful so just click on enter first so you can see staging one pending so now visit ultra scan this is my address so no need of me pressing myself to copy it always then now click on search so wait for it to process i think the transaction was successful confirm so let me let me check my wallet again click on two to refresh then click on enter all right guys so the transaction was successful so you can see this transaction was private so you can see you cannot confirm the amount that was sent looking on the screen guys so this is a good product guys very good you can just keep your things private so you can see private transfer then seven is for claim transfer so in case someone send of chart to you you can claim it so you just need to click on seven so per any step please make sure to confirm that the transaction was successful before moving to the next step or you are going to face error so now just need to click on enter for seven so no pending transfer yet so i cannot claim anything so in case someone send some ultra to you you are going to see it here well this is optional 
what you just need to do is to just click on one for you to claim it then you are done you are going to see the option here and you are done for you to claim the token so it's going to help in your interaction so this is what you need to know so like i said guys there any transaction you make here we make sure to confirm that it is not pending before moving to the next step or you are going to face an error so this is what you need to do so you click on enter to go to the next page and you can see you can play around with this you can send normal tx as well click on one to send normal transaction to any address so this is what you need to know for those of you participating in the Optra testnet campaign well i know this video is going to be too long because of my explanation i just want you guys to understand even though you don't know anything about coding you can just follow this guide it's going to help you so hope this video was helpful and don't forget guys make sure to support your boy by following me on x make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and if you want to get fast update from me make sure to also join my telegram group because i'm active here times x2 then for educational videos like this i normally post it on the youtube to guide you guys on how to go about it but if you need any written explanation follow me on x and join my telegram group and this is ag update your friend in crypto Thank you guys and minimal dreams to your world.